Yo, some big things, some little things, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's a good week to grab a pair of kicks. What up, folks? Welcome to The Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and last week was packed with kicks for All-Star, and this week, well, it's a little less hectic, but there are still plenty of kicks to add to your collection. First up is a shoe that just popped up a few weeks ago, the Adidas Ultra Boost X. Now, these are exclusively for ladies, but they do look very similar to the traditional Ultra Boost silhouette. The days of pink it and shrink it are gone, which is a good thing for the ladies. These actually dropped in three colorways on Wednesday, and you can grab those now over at Finish Line for $180. Speaking of kicks that already hit retail, Adidas Hoops is taking the crazy the explosive to a new level with the crazy explosive low. I've hooped in the mid quite a bit and if these live up to expectations they are going to be great to play in as well. The boost is clutch and has worked well for this model. Look for those to cost you $120 over at finish line. Jumping to Friday, we have some favorites from the sneaker world getting some love. The Adidas NMD has been one of the hottest shoes for more than a year now, and the triple color style has really been getting a lot of love. On Friday, Adidas Originals is giving us the triple black, white, and red versions of the shoe, which include the midsole. The red pair definitely pops out the most of the three, but don't sleep on the black pair, and truthfully, the spring and summer is coming, so the white pair might be just as good as well. Whichever pair you like, those will cost you $140. As for Nike Sportswear, they're giving us a new look at the Flyknit Racer. This shoe has been getting a ton of love from the brand in the last few months and this colorway is called no parking which i imagine has something to do with running or stopping in this case you can grab those on friday as well for 150 dollars all right, jumping to Saturday, there are a few things lined up that I've been catching my eye, so I'm sharing those. First up is the Air Jordan 12 Low Playoffs. By far, this is the most recognizable colorway of the Air Jordan 12. While the flu games may get all the hype when it comes to the 12, the simple black and white colorway is the one that you probably see the most. With the new low top version, you can grab that classic style for 170. For a more updated basketball style, Nike Basketball is bringing us a look at Paul George's signature shoe, the Nike PG1. Putting that $110 price point aside, the PG1 is probably gonna be one of the best performance deals you can get in a sneaker this year. It has a strap at the toe to keep you locked in. It has that low profile which seems to get a lot of burn these days. And of course they had that four foot zoom cushioning. So far the feedback for these has been really good for most folks and those drop on Saturday for $110. On the Jordan side of things, the Air Jordan 8 alternate is making a return and this isn't your normal colorway. Now the alternate model plays on the white, black, and red colors the Bulls wore in the 90s and proposes an alternate look to the old design. It's like 1993 all over again basically. You can look for those to drop $190 on Saturday as well. As with every week, there may be a few other things that are dropping, but I just wanted to give you guys the quick highlights that I thought you would be really interested in. As always, I am Jock Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. Make sure you turn on your notifications for this channel. That way you know whenever something is popping right here. As always, guys, I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon. Peace.